very close match. The first set, 7-6, 8-6 in the tiebreak. Martina Hingis led 5-2 in the tiebreak, had a set point at 6-5. Finally won it at 7-6. And she led 7-6, her second set point. But at the moment, it's only one break of serve. They broke each other at the beginning of the second set. Oh, and suddenly, Dragomir is playing some of the most aggressive tennis in the match. She's been more uh, the one at the back of the court with a lot of spins and loopy shots. But she was pulled way out of court, and she had to come up with something special and did. Break point. drop shot is that on break point well that's the best drop shot of the of the match and Dragomir even though you can see her leg is uh, taped she's been moving around the court without any problems moves around the court quite well actually low percentage but Hingis does a good job here Look how low it is Dragomir put out Judith Wiesner the 11th seed in the opening round 10 8 in the third game Hingis and Martina Hingis with a lead of 7 6 4 1 she's the number four seed here and the highest seed left in the women's singles draw Martina Hingis has won three tournaments in her short career, two of them last year at Filderstadt and Oakland. She got to the final of the Chase Championships where she lost in five tough sets to Steffi Graf. Also won the Italian Open and Zurich semifinals of the US Open, Pan Pacific, Chicago quarterfinals here at the Ford Australian Open. But she won the first tournament of the year, the Sydney International, last week. And her opponent, the young Romanian, Roxandra Dragomir, current ranking of 27 in the world, Pam. And Dragomir was one of six players last year to win three tournaments on the tour in Budapest, in Carvoli Vari, in Czechoslovakia, or the former Czechoslovakia, now Czech Republic, and also Pattaya in Thailand. She got the semifinals of Ross Mullen. She's currently ranked 27, which is only two off her career best of 25 in the world. So playing the best tennis of her career, she's been through to this round in a Grand Slam three other times, always the French Open, trying to get through to her first ever quarterfinal of a Grand Slam. Well, Dragomir lost in the second round here last year, so her ranking will go up much higher whether she wins or loses. And not many people would have heard of her, but she's a very Thank impressive you. player. She doesn't give her opponents much pace, doesn't appear very quick around the court, but she gets to everything. Love 15. Well, obviously in a tough situation here, down a set and 1-4, but it is only one break, and she came back in the first set from a 3-1 deficit. Ooh. There was an example right before she missed that volley of how she's been turning around some of the rallies on Hingis. And she's hit a lot of the slice backhand up the line to Hingis's forehand. Very little pace. Hingis has had to create her, her own pace on a lot of shots. You can see Dragomir was leaning to her left because that's where Hingis has been going most of the time with that return.
Hingis leads five games to one. Well, Hingis was racing all over the court here, and she actually goes with a big one-hander. She takes this, her left hand off and just lets rip with one. Probably was going out, but not enough time for Dragomir to react. So the number four seed serving for the match. Sandra Dragomir, one of two Romanians reaching the fourth round of the ladies' singles. Her compatriot already threw to the quarters with a win today, Irena Spilea. 15. And they took part in that opening match on court two, a little controversy surrounding the conditions. And they held up their play a little bit to get a final ruling on whether or not, if it were to go three sets, whether they could take the 10-minute break, which is a part of the regular tour rules. But the Australian Open has chosen not to have that rule here in effect. Pleasure 15. Well, Martina Hingis with the off forehand and the winner. And that is the side where she has hit the most winners. in the second set. She wasn't able to come to the net very much in the first set. It was extremely close, but the winning volley setting up two match points for the number four seed. Looked like she was going to serve volley there. Ow! 40-30. Well, it has been five straight games for Hingis, but in some of those games, they were very long. Dusad It's just been in the last couple of minutes where she's really grabbed this match by the neck. Jeez. But it's not over yet. Well, that was a very good return from Dragomir because Martina Hingis, once again, trying to come into the net behind her serve. Watch the spin on it. Hingis comes in. She's got plenty of time, but the ball spins backwards. And that could have been an easy shot for her to miss. This is her third match point. She went for the ace again. Both her aces have come up the middle to the ad court. Dragomir started off with a break of Hingis's serve. 